That's it for the front end. You should now have a web page with a few links and a couple of data visualizations. This is already something you could put in your portfolio because it shows off your data visualization skills. And if you haven't started a portfolio yet with your other nano degree projects, now's the perfect time. All of your files are currently in a directory in the classroom workspace or on your local computer. You should be able to open the HTML file in a local web browser and see the dashboard. Currently, if you wanted to share your dashboard with a coworker, you'd have to transfer all of these files to your coworker's computer. Then that person would have to open the HTML document locally, which is a whole lot of fuss just to show off your visualizations. It would be much nicer if your web app were on the internet. Then anyone could type a web address in a browser and see your work. But how do you get your dashboard onto the internet? For that, you'll need a backend. You're going to build a simple backend using a framework called Flask. For a data scientist, one of the biggest benefits of Flask is that the framework is written in Python. That means you can use scikit-learn, pandas, and NumPy in your backend code if you need to do any data wrangling or run machine learning algorithms. Once you've coded the backend, you'll be ready to deploy your application to a server. Deployment will be the last step to getting your application on the internet. Let's get started with building the backend and deploying the web app to a server.